welcome back. Here we are on level 5, Tatooine. Hey everybody. Here we try and kill Anakin. Yeah, he's our primary target. We gotta take care of these sand people first though. So, so, so uh, why again are we here? Uh, I'm really curious about this at every single level. Because... <laughs> I'm to sorry. get the thing and do that thing. Right. Okay. Okay. That now, that, 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 now, now that everyone's on the same page here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time you hit Anakin, you just that little jumping thing. And, like, that wow. would be my reaction if I was, you know, slicing half of the lifesaver. Unfortunately, my magic missile didn't hit him. I do love how it can hurt him. Yeah, it's it's definitely it makes this level a lot more entertaining. Uh, I think it's a little walk really animation does. too. Yeah. But no. Um, if you remember from the movie, you go to Tatooine to get a new hyperdrive thing. Yeah. So, now we're running away to return to the ship and we're fighting sand people. Okay. Exactly like the movie. Yes. I remember that now. So, uh, of course the pod racer scene in all this. There actually is no pod racing. They actually totally circumvent the pod racing by having us search around in the desert for a hyperdrive. Because yeah. <laughs> so, we don't have to buy it from Watto. In this. We just find it in the desert, but the confusing thing is that the only reason we met Anakin is because we had to buy a hyperdrive from Watto. Yeah. So, in this rewrite, we actually have literally no reason for Anakin to be with us at all. Just yeah. some kid we attacked in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he's just so angsty about that he becomes Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh... These Jawas are really annoying. So I, I guess, are, are we supposed to, uh, to pause this after level 4 and then just play in Star Wars Episode 1 Racer? And then come back to this when we're finished playing that game? Well, the, it, 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 the plot would fit together a little better, probably. Why are the Jawas attacking us in the first place? Because it's Tatooine. See, the, the rules are, every time, every time you have Tatooine, you have to have... And, and if it, in a Star Wars video game, you need uh, Jawas and Tusken Raiders and Sarlaccs. Right. So we got two or three out of the checklist so far. It's kind of like whenever you see uh, a representation of Australia in the media, you have to have the, the Opera House in there somewhere. Yeah. And kangaroos. I have no idea what happened here. I think the Jawas, like, blew us up and gave us headaches or something. So, oh, oh, they stole the hybrid? Did they steal our hybrid guy? Is that what happened? Wow. Anakin just runs into the little thing. Oh, that's goofy. Thanks a lot, Anakin. Little piece of shit. Oh, Anakin, no! So, so I guess I misunderstood that the, the actually, uh, the, the, the hyperdrive, we actually had to have the hyperdrive, but they, the Jawas stole it. Yes, and now I have to get it back. Yeah, okay. That, that, I mean, uh, that actually makes sense, but... Sort of. It, How do we get the harpy drive in the first place? Well, I have it off camera, I guess. Like, a lot of things, to be fair, a lot of things happen off camera in this game. It's assumed that you've seen the movie. But, of course, most of the things that happen in this did not happen in the movie at all. I think, I mean, the first level, the stuff in the first level sort of happened a little bit, but beyond that, <laughs> there's not really any, uh, any similarity. Well, no, like, the second level... No. No. <laughs> there's no fighting in the second level. There's no giant centipede. Yeah, all that happens in the, I mean, the second well, level... All, there's all the sequence all that... where they get run over, almost run over the, the tanks, right? Okay. That's it, and then okay. pretty much immediately after that, they go underwater to the Naboo City and... To the, or the, the, the Gungan city on Naboo, and then fly through the planet's core. But there was no warning running through the jungle fighting, uh, fighting um, battle droids. This game also had that weird. Uh, oh wait, that hasn't happened yet. Never mind. Next level. But uh, supposedly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um. <laughs> I'm glad they got the sound effects right on this. Tuscan Raiders. What, what I want to know, you, you'll, you'll notice the Tuscan Raiders tend to block a lot of our attacks. And uh, I'm not sure how that's really possible, given that they're, they're blocking the lightsabers with rifles. <laughs> yeah, they also can't, uh, you also can't deflect their shots. Yeah, you can block them, but you can't deflect them like blaster shots. That does make sense, though. But no, it do, that, that does make sense. It does, but... Like, I don't know, and, and with the game mechanics, you'd expect to be able to, to, to uh, deflect a sh to, def 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 to deflect a projectile shot if you're good enough. 
Well, so I mean, it, 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 no, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense because they're they're the they, they, they're the Tuscan Raider rifles are actually slug throwers. Well, I understand, but it, it makes sense. But in a game in a gameplay mechanic, I don't really like it. It doesn't doesn't bother me. No. Um, fine. Well, that was close. Yeah, you know, Tuscan. Oh, this part. These guys are an absolute blast to fight. There, there's no way to tell when they're gonna shoot you. Yeah. You just have to keep pressing the yeah, button until you get lucky. They don't seem lucky. to be following a pattern. They just kind of you gotta fire them. Yeah. It doesn't even seem to be like in like any kind of like block block timing as as like. It would fire like one second or two seconds or three seconds or whatever. It just seems to be getting completely random. Right. Yeah. So, the worst part about this, and we, this is another one we have to try a lot of times, is that these guys can, uh, not not just the, the droids there, but the Tuscan Raiders off in the background can knock you out if you're jumping midair. Yeah, that, honestly, the droids aren't really a big problem for that because you can see them, they're right up front. But the Tuscan Raiders. They're way in the back there. You don't really notice them at first. Yeah, and and their shots are a lot. Of, I mean, you can see them, but they're a lot harder to see. Which you know, as I said earlier, you can you can block them, but it's a lot harder to. Well, Tuscan Raider is a really assuming name. You, you know, you kind of you're kind of being placed into your role. I don't have to say it. As a raider. Exactly. Well, the, <laughs> the, the they, they are named for their raid of Fort Tuscan. Really? Yes. They're actually, the, 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 the more generic name is Sand People, but that doesn't really sound any better, does it? No. That the, sounds a, 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 number, a, a number of times while damn playing this, sand people. I found myself saying, these goddamn Sand People, and then I realized that that probably, that sounds racist. That's what they called him this, I guess. They probably have some name for themselves. I'm sure someone more of a... Damn Obama. Oh bummer! Oh, oh bang bus! I'm sure there's some people in uh, more well versed in Star Wars lore that would be able to tell me the the Sand People's name for themselves or something. Yeah, they gotta have their, their own name. Yeah, maybe, maybe they some, call themselves Sand People. Maybe. Maybe some of you commenters know. Wink. wink. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look! There's a power up going out of the sand. It's really just a massacre. Yeah, well, I mean, this is sort of a precursor to uh, episode, what's it, episode two or three, when Anakin goes and kills all the sand people. Yeah, that's an the women! <laughs> and the children, too! I mean, it's no wonder he did it. If he just, he, you know, he's watching Obi Wan and Qui Gon doing it, he thinks, oh, it's okay, it's no problem. It's a, Je a Jedi thing, yeah. it's totally cool. <laughs> Good use of a grenade there. <laughs> Yeah, it explodes off camera. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That happens a lot in this, because of the turning radius. We'll grab some of that back to Cobra. Oh. <laughs> now, uh, big, you know, fans of the movie will certainly remember this scene when Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn dodged boulders running up the hill. Yeah, there's, there's no recovery time here, I uh, also want to point out. <laughs> So, there's a, there's a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have any invincibility frames. No. On that. Another oversight that doesn't really come up very often in the game, because, you know, they're mostly slow attacks and stuff. But, um... But when this boulder is rolling through you, then, yeah, it becomes an issue. And you take several hits. This is not fair. I think that happened to me too, in, uh, back in level 2. I got oh. stuck in the giant slug. Oh, oh probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, that oh, happens oh, a lot. I don't get why games... I mean, reco the recovery time seems really crucial. You know? Like a really awful element to leave out. Here's our Sarlacc in the background, by the way. That's, uh... For those of you playing Tatooine Bingo. <laughs> But there's not really any interesting interactions with it or anything. No, it's just kind of there. It doesn't even animate. Oh, no. It does. It, it just does. It takes, Never mind. It just takes the place of a bottomless pit. You guys didn't even fall fall down it, so I couldn't even see it eat you or whatever. No, I, I doubt there was any kind of interesting animation to it. Aside from just the You, you kind of just, like, stop on the... <laughs> he almost does, though. He yeah. almost did. Like, it's not a very good pit. No. And so... Um, 
It's not very high up there on my list of, uh, of, uh, favorite video game bits. No. What's your vi favorite video game, uh, Bottomless Pit? Uh, this is, uh, there's no real reason for this, but I was always partial to the ones in the original Tenchu. This is something about them. I don't know, that was my first exposure to Bottomless Pits in 3D. Yeah. I like the ones in, uh, in Commander Keen. Uh, specifically Commander Keen 4, because you, you almost fall down them, but you, you do this, you know, bounce thing that happens whenever you die. So you know, fall down to the bottom, you're like, do 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 and you bounce back up. It's, it's like, great. wait, wait, I'm still here. Mario, that happened to Mario, didn't it? When he touched the bottom, or maybe I'm a man. No, it didn't. No, no, he just fell. Okay. You hear I start getting fed up with the deflection and just start shooting magic missiles at them. Which don't work very well at it, I don't think. Yeah, they do. Okay, well, they do. Locks on, it's always one. It locks right. on if you're locked, and it's always the one that kill for these things anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I just like Obi Wan's walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the way I walk, I'm a woods man. Time to time. This is one of those instances where, instances where I really wish there was force push. Yeah, Isn't I, the magic missile thing supposed to be force push? Is it? Like it's some something like bizarre... it. Uh, yeah, I think it's some weird representation of a force push. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Yeah, some great platforming in this game, by the way. Honestly, Krigon's attack is probably closest to force push. That repulse thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, by the way, uh, some of the surfaces in this are really weird. So you can just kind of run up walls and stuff. Yeah. Which I'm thankful for, because the platforming in general is so awful. Also, sometimes it likes to draw backgrounds over you and things like that. Yeah. He <laughs> just kind of dies in the air there. That's great. You can't hit them with your lightsaber. I don't know why, but you can't. They're just they're just too far away. Uh, yeah, here's a boss. Yeah, this this armadillo thing. Yeah, the King Dodongo. Really, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean really it's uh Except you don't have bombs to throw at it. Well actually I do. That's right. <laughs> so both of you have bombs. Yeah, but this is just, oh yeah, we got a lot of this. This slowdown is actually in the in, in game. We got a lot of that in this level. I'm not sure why this here specifically. The, sorry, it's hard to render all those boulders. Yes, this was uh, this was pushing the PlayStation to its uh, very limits. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the the thing that sucks about this boss is he's fucking does not stand still. Never. Never. Yeah. And that's a problem because we don't really have much in the way of ranged weapons. I mean, we got the bombs, which I just used uh, all of mine. And I've got my force push, which I believe I'm also out of. We've got like what looks like one charge. I don't think it's enough to, to, uh, to use my force push power. And there's that. <laughs> that shit. Right there. He's all suddenly like, oh, I'm gonna move five times faster than I normally do. And the camera just is no help at all, because he's off camera most of the time. Yeah. Then just comes out of nowhere. The yeah, camera is terrible for this battle. I wish it would like, zoom out or something. Yeah. Yeah, it just seems to focus on you guys. We already, see, the problem is we already know where we are. We don't really need to know that so much as where he is. It does get a bit easier after I learn that he kind of has a pattern. Yeah. He's the thing where he twitches around in place. And... His his hand his uh, one oh. of his feet <laughs> his hind <laughs> his hind foot just kind of does this weird twitching thing. Yeah. Where I mean, the machine doesn't really know how to render it properly. That's annoying. I mean, there's, there's no really good way to approach him. Yeah. Without getting without taking damage yourself. Boss fight is so terribly thought out. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not. This is probably. I think this is probably one of the worst ones so far, and I'm definitely going to be the worst one so far. 
but there's you know that there, there there I haven't really enjoyed a boss fight yet. Even the one with Darth Maul, it was more straightforward. Um, which you'll see a little later. I'm sorry to spoil anyone who doesn't know that Darth Maul appears in Tatooine. That's one thing that it does take from the movie, actually. But you'll you'll see. It's not quite so much bullshit like this, but it's just kind of boring. And here here we go. <laughs> I love how he dies and goes out of his way to roll. This, this is a callback to level one to make sure you're paying attention. You know, remember all this important stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. That crashing through the wall is actually actually a common theme in this. In this, it's, uh, it's part of the overall theme of the game. Actually, the message. It, yeah, it's like uh, it's like in Half Life, where all the games start on a tram or a train of some kind. Yeah. But in this game, the bosses just crash through walls and open up new areas. It's basically like that. Yeah, just like it. It's symbolic of how. In life, you can just be rolling along at one moment, then all of a sudden you just crash into a wall and everything goes boom. Yes. This is our struggle. This is the struggle of the Jedi. Jedi power and struggle. Jedi power. That's what it is. I wish, there was, I wish enemies took fall damage in this. I like how he's how that uh, the Tuscan Raider there is invincible for as long as he's staying down. Yeah. He's like, hold on, guys, let me get back up. <laughs> All right, now you can kill me. Well, it's only not, it's only polite. Jedi are honorable warriors. They wouldn't they would they wouldn't go and do a thing like you know break into a village of Tuscan Raiders and kill them all while they're on the ground. Never. They would wait until they're standing up on their feet to slaughter all of them mercilessly. You took our hyperdrive. It's time for you and everyone you love to die. They didn't take our hyperdrive. The Jawas. The Jawas took our hyperdrive. Other people from this area took our hyperdrive, and you're gonna pay the, the price in blood. I think we're just racist. Probably. We're killing sand people. Yeah. Damn old farmer. They want. We want to get out of our galactic republic. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself, kid. This part actually really confused us, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't even... Yeah. That... What the hell was that? Oh! That was the hyperdrive? That hyper was the hyperdrive? Exactly. We did not get that, and you'll see us just kind of <laughs> fucking around Where the here. Fuck do we go? What, what do we do? What's that? Oh no, you can't walk on this on this uh, thing that looks like a texture of the ground earlier on at the level. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. I thought that was like some sort of weird space barrel. Well... But no, it's a hyperdrive. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, arguably a hyperdrive is a weird space barrel. <laughs> well, I would expect the hyperdrive to be more glowy. That didn't even glow or do anything fancy. It was just well, it didn't glow in the movie or anything either. I, although I don't I, care. I don't really know why a hyperdrive would glow, but it's not really I, like well, some kind of fancy effect. Yeah. To be fair, it, di it didn't look very hyper. No, it didn't. So. I, I'm focusing on Anakin right now. This is a wonderful run animation. This is the best battle in the entire game. Yeah. It really captures the, move, the moments for the movie. Yeah, I mean, this is true Jedi power. This is really, when they talk about Jedi power battles, they're talking about this. this yeah, this, this is. This thing's right here. This is the. Now, now, this, now this is pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is power battles. Do you always get points when you hit a boss every time? Like. I don't know. I, I never actually noticed. You got that. like 400 points when you did a force move, and it connected. I never noticed that, honestly. I mean, you got a 300 points. Huh? Maybe it depends on how much damage you're doing. Maybe. Because I already you did that. You did that. You know, ninja like zoom in toward him and slash. And you got 400 points, and then Qui Gon threw a uh, threw a thermal detonator or whatever at Darth Maul to explode. And you got 400 points. Yeah. And then you're getting 300 points for, like, finishing off these combos. Yeah. And... This is... Darth Maul, as you can see, is really a fearsome warrior. Oh, and, and there <laughs> we go. The, we buried the ship in the sand. Yeah, you remember that? And, and we're off. Okay, glad to oh. see that. So, uh... Hope you enjoy our stay on Tatooine. Yeah, we'll see you next time for Coruscant. Coruscant... Wait, that's not Coruscant, is it? Yeah. No, it's not. Yep, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. See you on Coruscant. We, we will see you on Coruscant. Oh.
Bye. Bye.